information out if you guys remember what we discussed and you wrote down in your notes last class period. So if you spent the time, um, this is number eight. It's not on your homework, but it's going to help you do number seven. So if you were like Jared and you just wrote down the notes, we discussed a couple things. When you guys have a tangent line, all right, we know that a tangent line was perpendicular and it only intersects the point, or it only intersects the circle at one point. Then we discuss, well, what if I have two tangent lines, right? Well, how do those lengths compare? And remember, two tangent lines, their lengths are exactly the same. So um, for number one, they say that all the lines that look tangent are tangent. So therefore, this line is tangent and that line's tangent. So therefore, these two are equal to each other. These two are both tangent, so they're equal to each other. These two are tangent, they're equal to each other. And these two are tangent, so those are equal to each other. So if they're equal to each other, that means they have the same length. So if that's 13, that's 13. If that's 5, that's 5. If that's 13, then x equals 13. If that's 5, then that's 5. So all you do is find the, the tangent sides that con, um, contain the same exterior point. Those have to be equal in length. And then it says find the perimeter. So now I just add everything up. So I do 13 plus 13 plus 5 plus 5 plus 13 plus 13 plus 5 plus 5. Now obviously you don't need to write all that out. You could have just multiplied by 4 um, for each of those lengths. But Jared, when you just simply do it, you get 26 plus 26 equals 52. And then um, plus 10 is 62, plus 10 is 72. So your perimeter, in this case, is 72. OK? It's like taking. <laughs>